Hi everyone, my name is Diana, but feel free to call me Liddy. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Sony A5100. This camera came out in 2014, so we're talking about it 10 years later. I would say this is still a really, really good camera, but there are a couple of cons to talk about, so let's get into it. The first pro about this camera is that it's actually really good quality. I'm gonna be inserting some clips throughout this whole video so you guys can see how the quality of this camera is. It takes stunning video I use it for my everyday YouTube videos because of this flip-up screen, which we'll get into later. I also love to take pictures on this camera. The Canon G7X is right now the hot camera on the market that everyone's just getting. I think it's the G7X Mark II. I don't know if they came out with a new one, but that's like the it camera, but it can be really pricey. So the Sony A5100 could be a great alternative if you are looking for that Canon, but want to save some money. So here are some pictures that I took on my camera. I think this camera is a really good job. The flash works very well. The pictures come out very like vintage looking. Again, you'll see some better ones on the screen, but at least you can pretty much see how the camera functions. The price. This camera right now on Amazon is under $500. That's insane. I would say it does the same thing as the Canon, yet you're saving about $500 more. So another great feature about this camera is it is so user-friendly. I got this camera two years ago and I do own a marketing agency, so I do know a lot about videography and photography. This is a great camera for a beginner. Another great feature about this camera is the battery life is actually really well. I wouldn't say it's as good as the newer models. Right now I'm filming on my Sony A7 and you guys, this camera's battery is amazing. When it comes to the Sony A5100, I would say this camera has a pretty good battery life, but comparing it to its newer models, I wouldn't say it's definitely up there. Another wonderful feature about this camera is of course, the famous flip up screen. That is what totally got me sold and hooked on this camera. I really wanted a good camera that had a nice flip up screen. So I was able to see myself as I'm vlogging and streaming and just making YouTube videos. So I really have absolutely no issue and no complaints about the flip-up screen. It's perfect. Again, I think this is just a really good camera for beginners or for someone who likes to go vlogging and traveling and do a lot of like cinematic photography slash videography. Next up that I'm going to talk about the Sony A5100 is the Bluetooth feature is amazing. It connects to the Sony app and I'm able to transfer pictures and videos as soon as possible. So I love that feature for a 2014 camera. So this camera coming out in 2014, having that Bluetooth feature it is really nice to have and really handy to have now in 2024. Going back to the pictures and videos, they are really good. The videos come out so crispy. I'm actually so surprised by the quality. Comparing the Canon G7X to the Sony A5100 video, you can see the difference there. I would say there's no major difference. If you're really, really getting into you know the features and the specs, then you'll probably see a higher definition in the Canon because of course it's a newer camera. But I'm telling you guys, the Sony A5100 is really good for its age. You can't even tell it's an older camera. I have been using that on all of my YouTube videos so you guys can see how the quality is and how I use it. Another great feature about this camera is that it does have interchangeable lenses so you can remove the lens and put on another one. That is really, really good when you are taking specific videos. For example, if you really want to zoom in on something or vice versa, if you want to zoom out, this is the regular lens for the camera and it's actually really big for this camera. As you can see, sometimes it can get a little bit bulky, but I'm gonna get into that for the cons. Next pro is it is a smaller camera. My Sony A7 is really big and bulky. You won't see me taking this to like an influencer event. I usually do go with my Sony A5100, but comparing it to that Canon, the Canon is a lot smaller because the lens is tiny. You cannot change the lens on the Canon, which I personally think is a con, but Maybe if you are just a simple vlogger and you don't care too much about videography, then you really won't care about the lens. And the last pro about this camera is it's really impressive. Being a 2014 camera, I can definitely recommend it and see someone using it in 2024. It's not like a dinosaur. The controls are super simple, but they're not super outdated either. Now let's get into the cons of this camera because 
with the pros, there are some cons as well. And the first con I'm going to say is the lens is really big and bulky compared to the camera. This camera is really petite, yet the lens is very heavy and bulky. I love fashion, so you'll see me carrying around little mini purses all the time and sometimes I want to vlog my day but I can't really take this camera with me because the lens is just so big or I have to sacrifice maybe leaving my wallet or something and only take my credit cards so you can see how it can be a bit inconvenient but again there's interchangeable lenses and I do love that about this camera next we're gonna talk about probably the biggest con for me about this camera and maybe the only major con that I would personally say is the audio. This camera has an internal audio, meaning I cannot attach a microphone to this camera. Also, since the microphone is internal, you could kind of hear a bit of a muffled type of video. And I'm going to show you guys how that sounds. Moving on to another exciting piece in Hailey Bieber's wardrobe. We're going to talk about Levi. So if you're planning on starting YouTube, you can still record with this camera and use the audio. It really doesn't sound so bad. Again, all of my past videos and new and current because I'm going to continue using this camera are using the audio from the Sony a5100 so you could kind of see the difference but um, I would say that's definitely something that I would change about this camera I wish it did have an external audio I wouldn't even mind if it didn't have the microphone feature because I don't really use that feature too often but at least the external mic can just get a little bit more of my voice and not sound so muffled so that's why I say this camera is really good for like a travel vlogger because you're not really talking so much in front of the camera you're showing more of like the scenery but if you're a sit down vlogger kind of like me maybe this camera isn't the best option for you I also do a lot of fashion videos so it's it's all depends if you're if you want to sit down and talk in front of the camera most of the time you'll maybe want to look into a different camera or you might just want to just keep in mind that the audio is different from other cameras that have the external mic. Next, we're going to talk about the auto feature. I would say the auto feature on this camera is decent. I wouldn't say it's like the best auto feature ever. I feel like if you're just playing with the settings manually, you'll have a way, way better chance of getting the perfect lighting and the perfect video. So that is all that I have to say about the Sony A5100. You guys, I actually really love this camera and I feel like it's perfect for 2024 you have the pros you have the cons now you can decide whether you want to get this camera in 2024 i think this is definitely literally approved for 2024 thank you guys so much for watching if you love this video make sure you like comment and subscribe i love to talk to you guys and let me know if you want me to review my other sony camera next maybe do a comparison video let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys